guys, welcome back to Belky's Twist. I am here today with you from outside of my home because I'm trying to run away from my kids. <laughs> so as you all know, we're in quarantine right now and uh, my kids are driving me crazy. Uh, my little one is having a million meltdowns because you know, he has autism. So it's been super, super hard. So I figured, let me go outside and shoot this outside. I live in beautiful Arizona. So why not sit outside and shoot this intro for you? Uh, I promise to soon start shooting my whole episodes with me in them as I was trying to do last, but it's just been a little bit crazy inside the house. So this episode I'm bringing to you my onion strings and rings. Now why are they strings and rings and not just rings or just strings? Well, I have this slicer that I can make thin or thick, which you, you guys know a lot of these devices that you can make them thinner or thicker. Um, and uh, I take an onion that's more of a medium sized onion and I like to take them where the end is a little bit smaller and then it gets a little wider and then it gets smaller at the other end. So when I clean up the onion and I start to slice it, I start out with rings, right? Because I am at the less wide part of the onion. Then once I get to the wider part of the onion, it doesn't fit in that slicer because it's too wide. So then I angle it so I can get strings. And then as I get to the other end, I end up with more rings. So it gives me like a whole array of shapes during uh, uh, my process of making them. So like I'll get like a ring and then I'll get a string and then I'll get like, I don't know, like a lump like this. And I find it super fun. I don't like to put anything in my flower but you guys could add like paprika or cumin or you know Italian seasoning, whatever it is that you want to give it even more flavor. But for my kids, I just like to keep it nice and simple, maybe just a little salt and pepper at the end, and they love it. So here we go. I'm gonna show you how to make it super, super simple, and I, I wish you luck. I hope you have flour or that you find flour because I, I'm telling you, just I was being so careful about the amount of flour I was using with these because if I run out of flour, I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> so let's go ahead and let's make it. <laughs> 